What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys seen by the title, we're gonna be talking about why you, yes you, should accept being a basic, normal, mediocre person. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I know I just made that sound so horrible, but basically we're gonna be talking about why nobody wants to be considered average. Now as part of this whole conversation is when I had saw this video right here. I have a question for my community and y'all might not like my question. What is wrong with being average? Because most of y'all are gonna be average anyway. What's wrong with living in just a comfortable life? Just a nice house, a nice car. Why do y'all all have to want mansions, wanna be millionaires, wanna drive luxury cars, wanna wear luxury clothes? If we're being honest, most of the people who wanna be above average can't even answer that question. Most of my people come from nothing. We live in the hood, we come from the hood, we come from the ghettos, the broke. But like 70 to 80 percent of my people also reject average reject mediocrity and you have to be above average or your life is what shameful but if we're being honest everybody who want to be above average can't be above average because then that will be the new average that makes sense most of y'all was average students in high school let's be for real y'all got b's and c's and didn't care but now that y'all out in the real world and y'all see what an above average mindset gets you the, the benefits of an above average mindset y'all want the benefits but y'all still don't have the mindset to get that and yeah, I definitely have my opinions on this topic. So let's go ahead and get right to this video. But before we do, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? We was on the road of 500 subscribers. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. So my first point is, is that really no one is taught to be average. In our society, we are often taught to strive for greatness and excel in mainly everything we do. From a young age, our families and teachers have instilled in us that we can do anything we want and that we strive to do, and that we should always aim to go above and beyond the status quo. For example, when it comes to sports, you are taught to work hard so that a team can win. Disney has sold us a fairy tale for reaching for the star and that dreams come true. Not only that, but in our grades, music, churches, manifestations, podcasts, and mainly anything else, Else, we are taught to chase our dreams and work hard in life. Of course, there are some exceptions to this, but for the most part, we are taught to stand out from the crowd and be more than average. So when she asked the question of why does somebody want to be considered average, it's mainly because a lot of people have not been taught to be that and are conditioned to want more. I mean, simply, why be good when you can be great? Duh. And also, the whole word average just has a whole negative connotation in general, which brings me to my next point. Yes. I take your advice. Now the whole notion of the word average just has a whole negative connotation that most people are afraid to be labeled as. As Mark Mason said in his article, being average has become the new standard of failure. The worst thing you can be is in the middle of the pack, the middle of the bell curve. And that is so true. I mean, it seems that people are afraid to be considered average because how negative the word sounds. I mean, look at the definitions of average in general. And of course, this is Urban Dictionary. Average, someone who is not good, but not bad, but being average is being mediocre. Average as an adjective, it describes something that is in no way superior or inferior to the rest of its kind. Not only the word itself, but mainly society has brought a negative connotation to this word as well. With the rise of social media, we are constantly exposed to people who live in seemingly perfect lives. From Instagram models jet setting to different islands, to other people living lives that we only would dream of. These days, it just seems that everyone wants to live a unique and extraordinary life. And social media has created new ways for people to be successful, whether that's starting a business or becoming an influencer. This has led to the tendency for people to look down on 9 to 5 jobs since there are so many ways for people to make more money. I mean, for example, a 6 year old can make more money than a doctor just from playing with toys. And that's crazy because back then, a 9 to 5 job was really normal. And that was the way everyone mainly made a living unless you was a celebrity or you really had talent. But nowadays, you can really get famous or really make money from a lot of different avenues now. I think most people are chasing the standard to avoid being average and stand out from the crowd. With the constant need to stand out, it just makes the whole world of average or being ordinary become less appealing. Now, I know I just talked down about why people don't want to be average or why it's just a whole negative thing to be average, but I like to see both sides of every story and I honestly can see what the girl was saying. I mean, it's not a bad thing to be average and it doesn't really mean you're a failure. Honestly, I think the word you should use is contentment which goes into my last point. I don't 
don't think it's about being average. I really do think it's just about being content. And contentment looks different for everyone. I mean, for example, I love animals, you guys. Like, I love, like, sea life, the zoos, the aquariums. Like, that's something I always wanted to work in. And I had an opportunity to, like, volunteer at the aquarium. And that was really fun for me. And if I got a job there, I would not be mad because that's something I just would love to do. So if somebody would have called me average or got mad at me for working a nine to five job at an aquarium, cleaning up animals all day, and they call that lame, I honestly would not care because I'm content with that. Like that's something that makes me happy and I don't care what no one says. So whatever you're content in, then that's all that really matters. Like if it makes you happy, can't nobody really tell you how to live your life. Like this quote from Mark Mason has said, we all should try to be the best we possibly can, but rather the merits of accepting mediocrity when we end up there despite our best efforts. Not everyone will be exceptional at everything they do and that's fine. You know, life don't always work that way. You can't always be great at everything you do. And that's when it's okay to just accept where you are. But let me know what you guys think about this topic down in the comments below. What do you think about the video? What's your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.